What is up, my dudes? Bungie announced that Glaives are getting massive buffs with the launch of Season of the Wish. This is great for all Glaives, but for today, I want to focus on my favorite one of all time, Vex Caliber. I'll be explaining what the god role for the weapon is, the best catalyst use cases, and how the buffs will affect it next season. All right. Let's get started. Next caliber is a void rapid fire exotic glaive that comes from the Avalon mission in the EDZ. It is a craftable exotic, meaning that it can be built to cater to specific playstyles. It has the exotic intrinsic trait M1R distribution matrix 4. It causes Vex caliber to fire a spread of 5 bolts. Blocking while there is weapon energy grants void overshields at a rate of 12 overshield HP per second to us and allies within 15 meters. It also has a trait called perpetual loophole, which causes glaive melee attacks to deal 20% increased damage and refresh void overshield HP to max. This effect occurs while any type of overshield is active. Let's quickly cover the god roll for Vex Caliber. First up, we have the Haft, the Glaive equivalent of a Barrel Perk. Auxiliary Reserves is the best in slot since it increases the shield duration. Shield duration is especially important on Vex Caliber due to the exotic perk granting overshields while the shield is held up. A longer duration means that there's more flexibility when holding guard. Light Mag is an excellent option for Vix Caliber since it increases range and, most importantly, increases reload speed. Less time spent reloading means that the chances of getting hit by heavy damage are minimized. Finally, we have Short Action Stock. It offers a massive plus 15 points in handling, making it easier to swap to and from the weapon. Swap speed is super important on glaives in higher end content. A slower swap speed equates to a longer window of vulnerability. There are three choices for the Catalyst. Immovable Refit, Robber Refit, and feedback refit. They are immovable object, grave robber, and replenishing Aegis trait equivalents. Immovable object causes glaive projectile hits to grant 90% increased weapon energy while blocking and stationary. If you want to get the most out of your guard meter with every shot, this perk is for you. This is my first choice in high-end content since the damage resistance provided by glaives is so high, standing still for a moment doesn't really pose much of a threat. Grave robber causes all equipped weapons to get refilled from reserves on melee kills. Yeah, it's bland, but straightforward. If you plan to play aggressively, this is perfect with a synthesis glaive buff on the way in season 23, this choice might be interesting. Lastly, Replenishing Aegis refills one round into the magazine for reserves upon blocking damage, but the effect has a one second cooldown after activation. I like this perk, but reloading is pretty fast already and can be done after backing off into cover. However, if you just want to hold guard and shoot, this is right up your alley. Alright, now let's talk about the buffs coming to the Glaives next season. Starting in the season of the Wish, Glaives are having their projectile speed increased by 30% and their projectile projectile damage and PvE increased by 25%. Hitting shots with all glaives will be much easier and much more rewarding. Compared to other special weapons, currently glaives hit like wet noodles. Glaives are hitting sustained DPS numbers below 10,000. Of course, the main appeal of the weapon type is their guard, but it was extremely annoying to use the projectile attack and only see it tease yellow bar enemies. Next up, Bungie is reducing the delay after firing before you can melee from 0.75 seconds to 0.2 seconds. This is a good quality of life change and fixes the clunkiness of the weapon type a lot. Tons of people complain about the sluggish handling of glaives at launch, and this is a step in the right direction. The final buff, and arguably the best, is that shield energy will now recharge passively when the glaive is held at a rate of 1% per second. Now 1% doesn't sound like much, but it is perfect for drawn out engagements. This passive will see constant use assuming that the glaive is equipped. I think that this buff is especially good for Vex Caliber. After holding Vex for about 10 seconds, you'll have enough shield energy to tap the guard button and get a small overshield. While it's active, you can get that glaive melee and fully replenish it. This change alone will make Vex Caliber an amazing amazing weapon for solo players, and even better for those who play with friends. I encourage all of you watching to farm out the legend version of the exotic mission now so that you can get the catalyst you want. Next caliber is incredibly strong already, but with the changes next season, I do think it will be meta. Titans will be double dipping with the synthesis change, so there's a lot to look forward to. With that being said, I hope this weapon review helped you out. As always, thank you for watching, and happy farming.